What's cracking, Celiacs? It's Kevin here with the G Free Show, and um, well, happy hump day to you all. And well, as you can see here, I'm rocking some Packer gear. Uh, Super Bowl's coming up quick, and I actually just ordered some new shirts from uh, Scani.com. So originally, I would get a Scani shirt. I've been meaning to get this one for a while and just haven't done it. But yeah, so Scani right here, and then uh, this is just to kind of fuel the Wisconsin Ohio State rivalry. Uh, even LeBron thinks that Ohio sucks. I like that one. Um, this was my favorite here. Is uh, um, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck was Chuck Woodson? And then the answer is all of it. And then, uh, and then also the Aaron Rodgers title belt shirt. So I just wanted to uh, thank Scotty real quick for sending me these shirts so quickly. And um, they actually thanked me for the order right away after I had um, put in the order. They thanked me on the G Free Show um, Twitter account, actually. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but today what I wanted to talk about was um, just recently Tim Ferriss was on The View with Barbara Walters and um, Sherry Shepard. Now, and they were talking about The 4-Hour Body. He's the best-selling author of that book. And what he, what he did is he broke it down um, hour by hour. So in the first hour, he talks about sex and fertility. So he first talks about how only 50% of women have had orgasms and um, the, best, or the most sensitive spot for um, the clitoral region, I guess, is he puts up the hand and does it between 1 and 130 for 90% of women. Uh, that's a whole different thing. You guys can check out the video. I'll have the link for you. But um, what I wanted to talk about was he had right after that mentioned how eliminating gluten um, had helped women that went, you know, miscarriage to miscarriage. And, well, that happened with me. Uh, once I was diagnosed with celiac, my sister quick went and she got tested and she ended up uh, coming up with gluten intolerance. So that ended up being the reason why she was having miscarriages. And once she went on a gluten-free diet, she carried full term or, well, nearly full term with Cecilia. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's a good story for us, but, uh, you know, they also mentioned on The View how um, Liz Hasselbeck had the same problems, so I thought that was really interesting. Uh, but then they showed just a typical gluten-free plate, what was on there, so it was like lean chicken or, you know, just some sort of lean meat, uh, raw vegetables, and then just some, you know, serving of uh, healthy beans, you know, whether it's great northerns or black beans or, you know, kidney beans, whatever you want to go with. Um, but then also um, the next thing was talking about, um, you know, just sleep and um, just, I guess, you know, keeping your blood sugar right. Um, so with the sleep, he showed a different kind of like, uh, sleep monitor and ways that you can, you know, restore your sleep better or track it better. Um, but then he also mentioned almond butter, how if you, you know, have like a spoonful or two of that before you go to bed, you'll wake up with a better blood sugar and, you know, a little bit more rejuvenated, I guess. Um, then the third one, he talks about like your immune system and, um, just, you know, improving injury, I guess. So he mentions how, you know, you're putting an ice pack on the back of your neck, uh, for like half an hour, it can reverse injuries elsewhere, I guess, um, you know, just the power of, you know, the ice, I guess, uh, just freezing, but, um, and then what else did he talk about? Um, oh, yeah, the, the foam roller, it's something that I use at the gym, actually, it's just a black foam, I guess, cylinder, and you roll along it, so it helps out stretch your, you know, your upper back and everything, the lower back, you can do it on your legs and kind of, you know, rub out the tension, uh, things like that. So it's really nice for if you have, you know, certain soreness, which I did because I was doing some power cleans and uh, deadlifts just recently. So that, you know, it's still a little sore a couple days after. So uh, that's definitely a good one to do at the gym. And then the fourth hour, which I feel is the most important, is just the long term, you know, just living longer. Um, and he goes over like creatine monohydrate and he talks about small dosages. Five, or five grams a day can actually help prevent Alzheimer's and different ser sorts of neurological problems. Um, so, you know, just kind of helps with your mind and everything like that. But then one thing that I thought was really interesting and I had never thought about this, and he pointed out how, um, men don't menstruate, obviously. So we don't get to really refresh our blood quite as often. And we can get something that's, that he called, um, iron toxic byproducts. And so he said that, you know, men should go in and, you know, donate whole blood every three months just to kind of keep, you know, refreshing that almost like changing your oil in your car, you know, every three months or 3000 miles. So I thought that was really interesting, but um, yeah, you guys can definitely expect for me to be wearing some of these shirts all the way up to the game. Um, it's definitely going to be a big week. I'm going to try and get out a couple of Super Bowl recipes. I'm going to be looking around, seeing uh, some of the different people I have on Twitter, you know, on the G Free Show. They they put out a ton of cool recipes, so I'm expecting to see some good Super Bowl ones that I'll put out for you guys. And um, actually, I'll be back in Eau Claire on Friday and Saturday, so I'll try and actually maybe put out a cooking show for you guys too because I'll have a little bit better setup. So I will get that figured out for you guys and I'll get this out as soon as I can today then.